Now, since we've understood how we reach the equilibrium, let us understand what are the changes in demand and supply and how they impact the equilibrium. So, to understand this, we'll take separate cases. Cases where only demand increases, case where only demand decreases, case where only supply increases and finally a case where only supply decreases. And then finally, after considering these four cases, we'll take a case where both demand and supply are changing. But let us first take these cases individually. So the first case is increase in demand. So our assumptions here are the demand increases, the supply remains constant. Let us see what happens. It's a graph where quantity demanded is shown on x-axis. Even the quantity supplied is also shown on the x-axis and on y-axis we've taken price. So DD is the original demand curve here and S is the original supply curve. This is the demand curve. original and this is the original supply curve now this is the point where they meet so this gives us the equilibrium now we have the equilibrium but in our assumption we have seen that the demand increases. Now when the quantity demanded increases, what happens is the demand curve shifts outward or upward. So we'll get a new demand curve which I've shown with the green pen. The new demand curve will get formed which will be higher than the original demand curve. Now what will happen? Where does the demand curve cut the supply curve? We can see that now the demand curve is cutting the supply curve at point E1. This forms our new equilibrium in terms of price and quantity. So now the equilibrium quantity is Q1 and the equilibrium price is P1. So we can say that if demand increases but supply remains constant, what will happen is prices tend to go up. The equilibrium price rises. I'll again get it revised when the demand increases but supply remains constant what will happen is the price will rise the increase in demand will pull the price up this is generally what we observe in the market let's consider stock market if the supply of let's say reliance shares does not increase it remains constant whereas the demand for it increases what do you think will be the case? The price of the Reliance share will remain constant or it will go up or it will come down. Correct. It will go up. Since the demand for the share has increased, the prices tend to go up. Supply being constant. So, the first case where only the demand increases, we see that the price also increases. Next case, where only the demand is decreasing, whereas the supply is remaining constant. Again, we see that this is the original demand curve and this is 
the original supply curve we see that they are meeting at point e so q is the equilibrium quantity and p is the equilibrium price but in this case what is happening is the demand is decreasing so what will happen the demand curve will shift inwards or leftwards so a new demand curve will get formed it will look like this i have shown the new demand curve with green ink so now what is happening where is the new demand curve and the supply curve meeting are we getting a new equilibrium is the price going up or going down let's see now the new demand curve that is the curve shown in the green is meeting the supply curve at point e1 at point e1 now a new equilibrium quantity is q1 and the new equilibrium price is p1 so what has happened the equilibrium price has come down from p2 p1 so what happens when demand decreases when demand decreases and supply remains constant there are more goods in the market so what will happen it will be difficult for the sellers to sell off all the goods so what they'll do they'll reduce the price and we see that the equilibrium price is coming down so when the demand decreases supply remains constant the equilibrium price comes down it decreases next case where only the supply is increasing demand remains constant let's see what happens again this is our original demand curve and this is the original supply curve now they both are meeting at the point e so q is the equilibrium quantity and p is the equilibrium price now what is happening the quantity supply is increasing that is it will shift outwards and a new curve will be formed which will be s1 s1 so let me shade this curve in green now i have given you the new supply curve which is shifting rightwards it is outside the original supply curve now what is happening are we getting a new equilibrium point is the price going up or the price going down let's see the new supply curve s1 is meeting the demand curve at a new point which is e1 at point e1 they both are intersecting each other so we can say that e1 is the new equilibrium point so our new equilibrium quantity will be q1 and new equilibrium price will be p1 so what has happened to the price we can see that the price has come down it has come down from p to p1 so let me revise when only the supply increases demand remains constant the prices tend to come down final case decrease in supply demand remaining constant again we have the original demand curve and we have the original supply curve and in this case what is happening 
the supply is decreasing that is it will shift inwards it will shift to the left of the original supply curve and the new supply curve will be formed i'll draw it with the green ink so s1 is the new supply curve now what is happening is the equilibrium point changing is the equilibrium quantity changing is the equilibrium price changing let's see we can see that the demand curve is intersecting the new supply curve s1 at point e1 earlier they were meeting at point e so the equilibrium point was q and p the equilibrium price was p equilibrium quantity was q now they are meeting at point e1 so the new equilibrium quantity is q1 and the new equilibrium price is p1 now what has happened the price has gone up it has shot from p to p1 what does this mean this means when supply decreases demand remaining the same the demand for the goods is same but what has happened is in the market the supply of the goods has decreased so what will happen is people will be ready to pay a higher price for the goods they want the goods but the goods are in short supply so they to get the goods they'll be ready to pay a higher price and thus the equilibrium price will go up so we have studied the cases individually the first case was where the supply was constant but the demand was increasing we saw in this case the price went up in the second case the supply was constant but the demand decreased we saw that the price came down the third case where the demand was constant but supply increased we saw in this case also the price came down and finally in the fourth case where supply decreased demand remaining constant what happened to the price the equilibrium price went up